Hey guys, welcome back to another electrical repair video. This is one video I do not suggest you try, but I'm going to show you how it's done because I have had to do it once in the past. Now the weather head at the very top is a very old one, probably from the late 50s, early 60s. The entire top of it is rusted out, so water is finding its way when it rains down through the two inch pipe into the meter can, so that needs to be fixed. And if you take a look at the far right side, you're going to see where the two lines, line one and line two, the two hots, are only about that far apart. And believe it or not, the insulation that used to be on that crimp connector is gone. Both of those are live. The first thing I'm going to do is take you up on the roof, show you that there's live power at those two connections, and then I'm going to very carefully wrap them because I cannot work on the masthead with those two connections like that. All right, so if I take a bar meter, And that is not good. In the event of a hurricane, these two are so close together, they could bang together, short out, and cause a big problem. So the first thing I need to do is put on my gloves. I'm going to wrap these connections nice and tight before moving on to the mast. I'm going to be putting on my lineman's gloves. And I'm going to be using this insulated cutter. In case you're wondering, I'm not wearing flip-flops for this job. I'm wearing my Project Farm Approved work boots which are designed to protect you against high voltage. Start with the top one first. Right around here. Very carefully just go all the way around and pull it tight. Okay, triple layers. No more concern about that touching anything. That looks. A few layers in this area here where there's that depression with no insulation. Give it a few wraps. Thicken that area up. Now we head back this way again. Okay, with both of these wrapped, what I'd like to do now is at the very end, I'm going to place two nylon ties over that end and that end, and that prevents all this from ever unraveling as the sun heats it up in the summer. Okay, that looks pretty good. No more problem with having these close together. If they did bump, you got the insulation on the wiring. Over here, this one's fine, it's neutral, you do not have to cover it, it's connected to earth ground. Now the top of these weather heads usually rot out like this with age. And there's a little lever here you could pry up on, and this whole thing pivots open, allowing easy access to the conductors inside the weather head. It just pivots. You can see each one of the conductors, the neutral and the two hots. I'm going to try and remove this carefully. Perfect. Let's take this down, 
clean it up and try patching it. All right, what I'm gonna do to fix this area is just take a piece of sheet metal. It's cut to the right size. You can see it's perfect. And I'm gonna also take another piece for right here. Little pinholes, I could put some marine sealant on. Once it's all finished, spray paint it black, put it back on. The rivet's going to be placed on the inside so it doesn't rub against the wire. Otherwise it would stick down, so let's open this up. One hand in front of the camera, not easy. You see how nice and smooth that is. And this side just sticks up just a little bit. Let me keep riveting all the way through. Okay, this is what it looks like with all the patches in place. Everything is nice and smooth on the inside. The outside I'm going to spray paint and I'm going to put sealant over all of these areas and it should be just fine. Here's what it looks like after it's been wiped down with acetone and then sprayed with three layers of black spray paint. And check this out how good this looks. You could barely see where the patches were done. The rivets were all filled up with wet and dry roof cement so this will no longer leak. There's one more issue and it's straight down where it connects to the roof. Right over here, you can see the tar is all separated. More than likely, a long time ago when they put the new service in, they pushed this mast upward, breaking the seal. So water is finding its way between the pipe and this tar in this area, as well as the flashing and this tarred area. So I'm gonna have to scrape all this clean all the way around. And I'm gonna curve this in a little bit because I don't want it too high because when I fill this in and I put mesh, I don't want to have water standing in here. So I'm more than likely going to bend this over lower because this is pretty high off the roof. So let me scrape this first right here. This is an older chisel I don't need. I have a brand new one that I use for wood. Just want to get this pipe nice and clean, two inch rigid. very hard. Let me go all the way around and then we're going to work on this next. Here you can see it's all cleaned out very nicely all the way around. Now I'm going to take some roof tar and inject it into the space where my finger is which is pretty big all the way around. And then I'm going to very carefully curve these edges inward and down so I could lay more tar and fiberglass mesh. Fill that up. Same in here. better. Very good. Now the mesh I'm going to use is the fiberglass tape for drywall. Works great. I'm going to put a lot more tar and press the mesh into the tar. Just work it in. Okay, let's try this. Looks pretty good. Just push that in. Perfect. 
purpose is just to keep this edge of the metal from separating from where the tar is. So we just push this down. At the very end, I'll put another layer right on top. Let's put more there. I don't see any way that this is going to leak anymore. If you do it right, it will not leak. And here's a look at how nicely it's sealed. Later on, I'll come back with the house paint, paint the mast to cover up all that area where I scraped. And you can see the little opening where the water is going to run out. And here it is all finished, and as you can see, it looks really good. No more issues with this service entrance. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.